Well, trees cover nearly half of the natural state, and the timber industry brings in billions of dollars, supporting tens of thousands of jobs across Arkansas. But all across the state, pine trees are dying, and no one knows why. These dead trees are putting lives and homes at risk while also threatening Arkansas's state economy. All new tonight, THV 11 Scott Cobra takes a closer look at the race to save our beloved tree, the Loblolly Pine. In Arkansas, a silent killer is on the move. What it is and where it came from, no one really knows yet. Is what we're seeing now is that we're seeing a lot of trees across certain areas that are being really affected. Uh, large areas like we're sitting here now full of tree death. The victim of this mystery ailment is Arkansas's state tree, the loblolly pine. The normally lush, forest green pine needles begin turning brown, limbs will fall, and in many cases, these trees die completely after becoming infected. The tree that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's needles looks like it's about ready to croak. Like a detective sifting through evidence at a crime scene, Dr. Vic Ford, a forester by trade, has a few leads, but he and the team studying the issue readily admit they're far from cracking the case. We're detecting this mystery. So we're trying not to eliminate anything. We're considering all the environmental factors. And just like in any other investigation, everyone and everything is considered a suspect. At the top of their list, disease, extreme weather, herbicides, and pesticides. Maybe a combination of any or all of those factors. It is an ongoing investigation. Samples sent to laboratories do confirm the presence of pine needle blight, but Dr. Ford believes that recent weather extremes, from flash drought to record flooding, could also be to blame. So that puts a tree under stress. And then if something else comes along, uh, that would stress it a little bit further, something else, then you've got, got the decline phenomena, is what we, we would call it. While careful to not rush good science, Ford says that he and the team feel the urgency to solve this mystery as soon as possible, knowing that the price tag for not doing so could be catastrophic. It's a big deal. Um, I'm trying to think of the, the, the millions of acres we have in Arkansas, about half of Arkansas is forested. Bringing in $3.6 billion annually, the timber industry also supports 27,000 jobs across Arkansas. That's according to the University of Arkansas at Monticello. The timber industry has, uh, has, has a concern and they're looking for answers and help us to find answers. But finding answers is just as important to everyday Arkansans too. Take this woman's front yard in Arkansas County, where nearly 100 pines have succumbed to this mystery illness. She told me it would cost her more than $26,000 to have all these trees removed. And just up the road, a city park once enjoyed by many is now a tree graveyard full of stumps where dying pines posed a safety hazard and had to come down. It's a multiple factor problem and I think that's probably the best way the best words I could use to describe that it's a solvable problem we've got the right people working on it we just need some time since May reports have come in from all corners of the state of dead or dying pines Ford and his colleagues at the Arkansas Forestry Division are using this information to better understand the full scope of the problem Collecting data from citizen science for people who see dead trees and they report it, whether in their yard or a piece of property. And we're, these are just pieces of the puzzle that we're trying to work with. While the tree experts continue searching for answers, Ford's advice is to not panic. Not something to be nervous about if there's something that you think may be concerned. We've got a county office in every 75 counties in Arkansas called your county agent. In Arkansas County, Scott Covert, THV 11 News. Thank you, Scott. Now the Forestry Department is asking for your help as they continue to track this problem. If you have dead or dying loblolly pine trees, we'll post the link to report those on our website, THV11.com.